Hey, what's going on, guys? This is DK back at you with another video to talk about a couple NBA player props I like for Tuesday's slate. If this is your first time watching, I do cover content for prize picks and for NBA and NFL daily fantasy sports. If you guys are playing the five game NBA uh, slate, make sure to check out my video breaking that one down and recapping my picks from yesterday. So, one, one for two again in the YouTube video. Unfortunately, Denny got in massive foul trouble, lost huge minutes. So, that was extremely tilting. Reggie Jackson went under. Um, that was nice. And then I went two for three on the Patreon picks. Noel went over. Giddy went under. And then Mobley. Unfortunately, Kevin Love like barely played. I thought Love being back would take away a good amount of minutes from him. It did not. So um, yeah, I mean, I've I've talked about this on Twitter. I'm literally hitting like over 80% of my plays this week. And I'm somehow down money. Because I've I keep going five of six. I went three for five uh yesterday. And yeah, I'm down money. So like I could, what I could do, I could be your typical prize pick, bro. I could tweet out this two pick power play and just say, hey, easy money, free win, right? It's so incredibly easy. No one loses here. Uh, but no, it's not true, right? Because I ran a couple other two pick power plays and every other one missed uh, because every other pairing I had like Mobley in there. So it's just frustrating, man. I keep hitting the pairs wrong. Keep hitting the pairs wrong. But yeah, like this one, again, uh, the day before, Julius Randle gets ejected midway through the third, misses by 0.4. Um, NFL, we had some nice wins, but then again, went five for six because Pollard uh, goes for two touchdowns. Um, NBA, the day before that, five of six. Marco Fultz gets injured. Um, yeah, it's been... Uh, been running bad. We'll just say that because when you when you hit in over eighty percent of your plays and you're still down money, it's just you're getting unlucky. So um, let's hope that we can go two for two here on the YouTube video, and we'll start with one play that I don't know a lot of people are on. I think they're on different stats for this guy. Let's go over to Chris Paul, um, who I like taking more than three and a half rebounds. I see a lot of people taking uh, over uh, assist or points. And looking at projections, I just think the, the Paul rebounds actually stands out the most. Now, if you look at the Phoenix Suns, obviously there's no Devin Booker. They're relatively shorthanded, still no Cam Johnson. Um, Chris Paul played 32 minutes in regulation last game. I'm expecting those minutes to tick up a little bit, maybe 34 to 35 minutes. Um, you know, the Suns have been struggling a bit, so I think they got to give their starters a good run. And Chris Paul averaging over four and a half rebounds a game. So I think we're getting nice value on this number at three and a half. So we're going to take more than three and a half uh, rebounds for Chris Paul. And if you take a look, I'll bring it up uh, over on DraftKings. But you can take a look at um, his numbers this year again, averaging 4.6 rebounds per game. So um, in a lot of these games, you know, some of these were blowouts, some of these he kind of got limited. But I think you're going to need Chris Paul out there a lot tonight. So like more than three and a half rebounds there for Chris Paul. And the other one we're going to take is going to be fantasy score. And we're going to go over to Marcus Smart. So Marcus Smart right now projected for 27 and a half fantasy score. I like taking more than that. Um, he was really, really bad last game. Like really, really bad. One of, I think Marcus Smart's worst game of his career. Um, but I think he bounces back in a pretty big way. So positive here is we've got a great match against the Lakers. We know like Lakers do not play defense. Um, I don't, again, last game outlier, nine fantasy points in 32 minutes. Yeah, bad game. Still no Al Horford. Don't expect Rob Williams to be back. So Boston's just running a really tight rotation. Like you're going to get probably 35 to 37 minutes for Marcus Smart. And the reason I like taking the fantasy score as opposed to um, other stats is because Marcus Smart is a guy that's really good at getting steals. Um, you know, he averages almost two steals a game. And if you look at fantasy score on um, prize picks, we know that steals are three. There are three points. So um, if we get like a normal game from Marcus Smart and he gets like maybe two steals and, and one block, that's nine points right there already, right? And Marcus Smart also, again, he's good at getting those peripherals. So um, uh, that's why I like taking the fantasy score as opposed to some of these other stats. So we're going to take the uh, Marcus Smart more than 27 and a half fantasy score. So those will be the two picks for today, guys. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, you know, what can go wrong today? Uh, is it going to be an ejection? Is it going to be an injury? Is it going to be a random blowout? Um, what what can go wrong? Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. But, you yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Again, if you haven't enjoyed the content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.